I had an affair with my married professor and fell in love but it went horribly wrong. I know a lot of girls might want what I've experienced but I had no idea it could go so wrong. Before you judge me please just try to understand that I made most of these choices out of insecurity and desperation and that I'm not a good example to any young girl. I'm a college student. I moved out of my home state almost cross country to attend my dream school and I've been in a very intensive academic program ever since I got here. I'm a psych major and I hope to get my doctorate one day. I experienced a lot of loneliness after moving out of my home state and I dealt with it by throwing myself into my studies. I didn't make many friends after starting school and instead spent most of my time in my professor's offices. I ended up taking a liking to one of my professors, Professor Sagan. His lectures were always captivating and he always extended his office hours for me. As the semester went on I spent more and more time in Professor Sagan's office and I think the lines of professionalism started to blur. I was just so lonely and dealing with a lot of leftover insecurity from high school and I guess I just started to like the attention Professor Sagan gave to me. We would be alone in his office evening after evening, and our conversation started getting flirtier and more intimate. He started telling me about all the issues in his marriage and about how cold his wife was and I would comfort him. We finally crossed the physical line one night when my car had broken down and we walked back into his office and waited almost three hours together for the tow truck to come. It was so late at night and there was nobody else in the entire building and the tension burst like a firework. We had been having a long conversation about my childhood and his marriage. We were sitting so close together and there was a pause in the conversation where he was just staring at my eyes and lips. I had never wanted anyone to kiss me so bad and that's when my phone rang with the towing company's number. I went to answer it but Professor Sagan grabbed my phone, declined the call, then took my face in his hands to kiss me. It was the most deep passionate kiss I've ever received, and I let him take me right there in his office. After that night we were seeing each other multiple times a week, always in his office or at my apartment. I know it was wrong and I knew I was a WH re but Professor Sagan had this surreal hold over me and I would melt any time he put his hands on me. There would be so many nights where we'd be laying there together after making love and he would tell me about how badly he wanted to leave his wife for me. I never asked him to even though I had fallen in love with him as well, I guess there was a part of me that knew our effed up relationship was doomed from the moment it started. Even though I had never been so physically fulfilled while sleeping with him, having an affair with a married man was taking a giant toll on my own self-respect and my image of him finally shattered after I found his Facebook one night. After going through Professor Sagan's Facebook, I realized he had totally lied about the unhappiness in his marriage, his profile was full of photos of him smiling with his wife and kids and I realized I had been lied to. I broke things off the very next day and he had a full meltdown in my apartment. I had had relationships with guys here and there before but there was something so dramatic and honestly kind of scary about this argument in particular. When he realized that I was truly checked out of the relationship and then I didn't want anything more to do with him, he started grabbing me and trying to hug me then getting on his knees and hitting himself in the face. It took forever to get him out of my apartment finally and I was just nervous to see him on campus after that. I didn't have any more classes with him since the semester was over, but he ended up going out of his way to make contact with me. The night I broke up with him I told him to lose my number and that what we had done was a mistake but he didn't listen. He completely blew up my phone with texts and calls for the next two weeks and even started leaving little gifts at my apartment. At first, the gifts were small, flowers and chocolates but eventually, he left an Apple Watch and then a new MacBook at my door. It was insane behavior and it really started to freak me out. With every gift there was a card or a letter with a long love note in it for me and I could barely stand to read them. Although this has been going on for a while I didn't realize how out of hand things had gotten until yesterday while I was at work. I had no idea that he even knew the specific store where I worked. So when he walked through the front door I completely froze. He looked crazy. He had eye bags and his eyes were red like he had been crying for days. When he saw me he literally started making this whimpering noise and begging for my forgiveness. I told him that he needed to get out of there and that he was making me look bad at work, but he said he would only leave if I took his letter and promised to read it. I snatched the envelope out of his hand since my manager was walking over, and at that point he had burst into tears and afterward he finally left. I opened the envelope after finishing work that day and even the four-page front and back love letter didn't freak me out as much as the other thing in the envelope. Along with the love letter, there was a stack of legal papers, and it only took me a second of reading them to realize that they were his divorce papers. 